My name is Milou Delamrani. I have a master's degree in communication studies from the University of Leeds in 2009. I also have a master's degree in translation and linguistics uh, from the University of Durham. Journalism in Libya before the Arab Spring was nothing but a mere rehash of what the government wants to disseminate to its people. With the advent of online activism, people in Libya and elsewhere found a different form of expression, a form that is free from policing. This state of affairs led to protests in the virtual world, which were later translated into protests in the real world, and thus the fall of a number of despotic, undemocratic regimes. Journalism, especially citizen journalism, is changing public opinion now. Uh, this uh, uh, state of affairs has its advantages and disadvantages on the Libyan context. And the disadvantages can be seen in the fragmented, polarized political scene. What I mean by that is that uh, people and politicians in general follow what citizen journalists are uh, uh, doing and are investigating. This can be attributed to a number of factors that are related, for example, to the ethics of the profession. I think a professional journalist should approach citizen journalism with an open mind and they should always maintain the ethics of the profession because it is lacking in networked journalism in general. Um, in today's world, I think a journalist and journalists in general uh, must absolutely be tech savvy because they are in a very competitive race with citizen journalists. They need to make good use of the technology available to them and available to the layman. Possessing a camera, for example, a microphone or a channel is not limited to journalists who carry their press IDs with them. These tools are available to everybody now. So much so that if you say, excuse me, I'm a journalist and I want to, before you finish your sentence, people will say, so are we. A journalist must also be open-minded to the recent developments in the world of journalism and should not approach such phenomena, such uh, phenomena as citizen journalism with arrogance and condescendence. Such phenomena now are part of the game and a journalist must embrace such developments, but not at the expense of the ethics of the profession. Such phenomena do provide access to a lot of first-hand information and authentic material that was provided by real people from uh, real contexts.